Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm now going to be talking about the, well basically what I said that I was going to do when I came back from Japan, that being the whole situation between job life and mouse. I will be giving out my opinion on this because it is pretty bad. Basically what happened under this Twitter article, which I will leave a link down in the description below, during the final map of the final group stage match between Job Life and Mouse, Jazz, who, ha who had been experiencing connectivity issues throughout the tournament, disconnected multiple times during the map, including when the score was 10 to 7. During his effort to reconnect, a member of Job Life asked the referee if they could replace Jazz with a sub from their roster, to which the referee answered no. As was the case for the prior tech pauses, Jazz reconnected and the match continued. So that's great, that's cool. But, however, obviously after that game, Job Life players were felt quite robbed. And the Malice players were apparently as well reportedly getting death threats from the Job Life fans, which I do not condone whatsoever. It's stupid as well to go for a player who's basically just playing for his career and to, <laughs> to give him a death threat. That is just not on whatsoever um they did do a review and confirm that the referee's response was was consistent with the rule set very important consistent with the rule set remember that for um later in this video as the required condition for for a substitution had not been met expiry of the of the of the of, of the allotted time to reconnect confirmed by the fact that jasper was able to reconnect and return to the game they obviously acknowledged that the referee's response was not perfect as they missed an opportunity to provide additional context on the required conditions and process for, for a sub request. But nonetheless, it was consistent with the rule set. As a result, we have concluded that the game 5 match result will stand and a match, re and a match replay is not warranted, which is why you see quite a lot on Twitter during that time. There was hashtag job life remake. That is the reason why that hashtag was possibly as well trending in France. Per the rules, players are responsible for ensuring the performance of their chosen setup, which includes computer hardware and peripherals, internet connection, DDoS protection and power, having a suboptimal play environment due to highway issues or spotty internet con connectivity, do not automatically grant teams a right for a mid-map player substitution, which is a last resort intended for situations in which a player is fully unable to connect within a reasonable time frame and granted at a tournament official's uh, at a tournament official's discretion, reasonable time frame. That's also very very important to remember. Lastly, it is important to note that Riot Games consider match replays only for extraordinary circumstances. An example of this um, can include the turret bug incident uh, against FPX and Xset in Champs 2022. Given the various significant impact match replays have on tournament scheduling, competition continuity, as well as fairness towards other participating teams, reviewing the fact of this uh, of this incident, we determined that the imperfect information provided by the referee does not meet the bar of extraordinary circumstances that would warrant a match replay. Given that Jazz ultimately was able to connect and compete, and therefore not eligible for a sub as per the rules. They do recognize the importance of this match for the team and regret the confusion arising from the initial communication during the match. Now, after this was published, there were quite a lot of angry people, including myself, who didn't really understand it. Because, as we will get into pretty soon, Impulse, who is base, who is the who is the co-owner of Job Life, responded with with this tweet right here. Two days, worst experience of ever in the in the esports career. So the first instance, which includes that there was a bit of confusion, rule uh, rule book of the of the EMI ascension. They we so they assumed that they needed to, to win only one map to get into the playoffs. On the day of that game, this was also confirmed by the organizers. However, it was announced by VCT EMEA and VCL France leagues as well. 10 minutes before the game started, we were told they made a mistake and in fact we need to win the game to qualify. And obviously that put a lot, and I do mean a lot, of pressure on the players of Job Life. The second instance was after, the, after losing the first map, they managed to reset, saw what they did wrong, the fire, uh, and obviously the fire of the players showed in the second map, which was brilliant. 
Um, started building momentum on the third map, which is Haven, which is very, very important. Third map started six and zero, which is which is uh, which is really, really good for job life. And and they were playing out of their minds. However, this is when the problem started. Jazz DC pre round breaking the momentum they they already had, which is fine. Even though that they lost a bit of momentum, they kept playing like like they were and closed the half eight to four job lives way I believe. Then Jazz DC again early into the into the defense round, and they obviously had to have a long pause. Panics are settling in. If it DCs mid round, it will affect the game in a major way. And jump to maybe the most important round of job life's history in the round of ten to six of the score. They were, they, were, they, were, they were retaking C with 20 seconds left on the clock, uh, where Mouse plant the bomb, they invested KJ, Sova, and Neon Alt, and this round they could have they could have won if it wasn't for the fact that Jazz DC'd mid retake and dies instantly, and they even got as well on the broadcast. And that's just and gonna be carnage. Hey, Wait, not like hey, this. Hey, it's gonna come in. And no, the overdrive. The, behind? Oh, no. Did he just connect? Mouse planted a bomb within one second left on the clock and won the round. There was another tech pause as well on 10 to 7. And this is what and this is what this ruling was talking about about someone on the team asking the referee if they could sub if if they could get a substitute. It was Lohan, who is the head coach of Job Life, asking Admin if they could sub mid-game, and the answer we got was quote. Sub in mid game is impossible, but of course you will be allowed to continue with five with a lagging player or as four. So they were given two options only: four v five or playing with Jazz disconnecting. And obviously they played with Jazz disconnecting. So they, ba they so, so they so they basically were still playing four v five because Jazz just kept disconnecting and stuff. And obviously the worst nightmare happened. They had a player disconnecting mid round. Our confidence is shaking. They are panicking. And they tried to hype and they still tried to as well hype them up as well. Um and then pause in another two times until round 10 10. The game was basically unplayable at this point. Lohan used attack pause to try to hype the players and call the round. They ended in a 4v2 situation which the round is very winnable. And again, Jazz DC's mid round end up losing this round yet again due to da due to Jazz disconnecting. And by this point, I mean it was basically impossible, and they felt helpless as well, and lost the game and lost their chance well at VCT. Now this is where it gets a bit shaky and a bit shady as well with the rules. So the rules state, according um, to Impulse, the rules state that we can make a substitute if a player is disconnected for the full technical timeout as Jazz keeps reconnecting and disconnecting. These rules do not apply. According to this, a remake will not be possible as according to them, the rules were, were applied properly which the team agrees with. Now the questions are this, uh, are this from Impulse. Is it fair for everyone, to, uh, everyone involved in job life to have this outcome? Were we given a fair shot at VCT like every other team? How can we control the, the connectivity of a player? And how can it be fair have a player disconnecting mid-round and not have a rule that safeguards this? I hope Riot updates the rules in the future. We just want a fair play and unfortunately there's no rule that safeguards this situation. Emotional toll of this event caused to all players and staff is something that I shouldn't have that that shouldn't happen to anyone else in the future. Hope Riot sees this and takes to connect and, and takes to correct measures for the future. Otherwise, what's the point of anything we are doing? Now, under this post from Impulse, there was a Twitter by the name of of uh, Cyval X or Cyvox, I should say. Tweeted basically saying that they had a very similar um situation as well in the dash region in involving ovation esport and zyre where ovation also having internet issues this time though had to forfeit the game and gave the automatic win to zyre and as you can tell quite a lot of people were questioning this like for example they couldn't wait for internet fix apparently not because time is that precious to riot however though Impulse later tweeted this out, and this is very, very important. Remember when I told you to remember those key points in that article I read? Well, this is what I'm talking about here. He basically put all like like the times of those tech pauses, when it happened, 
and the amount of tech pulls that they took to get Jazz back into the game because he kept DC. So tech one, it was it was around three minutes. Tech two was seven minutes. Tech three and four was also two minutes as well. While tech five was a massive ten minutes. While in total, it took them twenty five minutes and thirty six seconds to get Jazz back into the game. And he even screenshot as well the basically the ruling involving substitutes. So on the 15.5, on the play emergency pools, 15.5.1, it is, uh, which is under the play emergency protocol, it is, says teams will be granted a maximum of one pause for an emergency situation per map in a match for a maximum egregious total of 10 minutes across the match. If a team requires more than 10 minutes of player emergency pauses, then the players using that pause will become in it will basically they will be able to continue to play and must have a substitute. If the team is unable to find a full five players, the team shall forfeit the match unless an event official in his or her um, discretion determines that the victory in the match shall be awarded to one of the teams. Teams that misuse this pause for non-emergencies will be sanctioned. Now this is very important because obviously in the ruling it says a, a maximum of 10 minutes. It took 25 minutes and 36 seconds to get Jazz back into the game. If it was more than 10 minutes, then there will be a sub. More than 10 minutes should have been a sub at least. Lohan should could have played, or maybe another player, maybe on standby for job life, which I'm pretty sure they didn't have a sub, I believe. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem there. If you are job life and if you're into and as well, if you are reading this ruling, clearly says a maximum total of 10 minutes across the match and how it even says teams will be granted a maximum of one pause for an emergency situation per map this was one map and they took five tech pauses because of jazz read basically kept disconnecting so the question i asked out to riot why did you not follow your own ruling where it clearly says max of one pause they took five pauses maximum of 10 minutes it took 25 minutes why did you not decide to finally put a put in well, to, well i should say allow them to have a sub in i don't understand why they didn't do that but that's right for you i guess now another one 3.6.3 in the event that the player disconnects during a map and is unable to return within the allocated pause time the team will be permitted to replace them with a sub from their roster the lobby would need to be remade and the game manually reverted to the previous game state. Now, I guess this rule was maybe talk about this one. The rule states that we can make a sub if a player is disconnected for the full tech timeout. As Jazz keeps reconnecting and disconnecting, these rules do not apply. So I think this is what they may be talking about. And considering that, obviously here, the big one, 10 minutes and 31 seconds in tech five, uh, not really the best as well there, I'll be honest, but I mean, Sure, I mean, if you're just not going to allow them to put a sub in, I just don't understand why you wouldn't. It's stupid, I'll be honest, from Araya there. And the last one, which includes tech pause, which is under 15.4, technical pause categories. This is also very, very important. Under 15.4.1.1, suspension of play, expected, uh, the expected delay is greater than 10 minutes. Examples, play disconnected from game. Monitor went black, computer for us for longer than 3 seconds, less time could classify as an equipment check, any programs, crash during gameplay, etc. Well, obviously the other one which includes equipment check, expected the expected delay is around 3 to 5 minutes. Examples, mouse battery died, peripheral stopped working, audio became bug, setting suddenly reset, etc. Now, the suspension of play is also very important. Look, it says what? The expected, the expected delay is three to five minutes, right? Three to five minutes, three to five minutes, three to five minutes. Sure. But then seven minutes to 21 seconds, that is, that is in this very murky side where it doesn't actually properly say where that seven minutes is, is around. But considering that I might be below the substitution, the, the basically of this, of this category and above this category, it should be all right. It does say though, greater than 10 minutes. Now, to be fair, the, only, the biggest one is 10 minutes 31 seconds. So it is right on the dot 
of greater than 10 minutes, which I, I guess if you're I guess if you're Riot, you're basically saying there shouldn't be any suspension of play, I'll be honest. But considering that the total is 25 minutes, it still questions that, are you talking about a pause? Or are you talking about, you know, like, uh, well, not just a pause, but also just combining all the pauses? What are you talking about here? Are you talking about just one pause or every single pause? That is a bit of a, that's a bit of a question mark, I'll be honest. Like, if they're, like, and plus, if it happens maybe five times for a, for a player to disconnect from the game, does it, like, does it continue up? Like, three minutes, 41 seconds, does it continue up? Or does it just say, all right, well, that's one, three minutes, 41 seconds, that's fine. Seven minutes, 21 seconds, that's a bit murky, but that should be all right. Two minutes, two minutes, that's fine. 10 minutes, 31 seconds, we're on the bubble. We're, we're on the bubble, so maybe we should maybe suspend, the, may, like, like maybe we, we should suspend the play uh, because it's greater than 10 minutes. However, it is on that 10 minute mark. So I guess Riot could maybe, maybe pull out their ass and say, it wasn't above 10 minutes. It was on 10 minutes, but it wasn't above it. But if you're, but uh, obviously if, if that also includes 10 minutes, should they also maybe, you know, suspend the play as well? I don't really know, but it's really, really dumb, I'll be honest. I mean, this whole situation could have been avoided easily if Riot simply followed their own rules. A max, a total of 10 minutes across the match, across one match, and a maximum of one pause. That is multiple pauses, and it took more than 10 minutes. That's the thing as well. Like, for maximum a, a total, total, keyword total, 10 minutes, total, 12, 25 minutes, they should have had a sub. That's an easy one that Riot did not follow. Now, you could maybe say as well that this, uh, I mean, you don't really have, I mean, you, I don't think, I mean, I think Riot maybe followed that, but considering that, you know, Jazz kept coming back and stuff, um, you know, because it says, and, and is unable to return within the allocated pause time. I mean... If you maybe talk about this, maybe, should we maybe say that, you know, the 10 minutes, 31 seconds, that's a bit of a murky one, but the bit, but this one as well, the, the, the suspension of play, greater than 10 minutes, there's a lot of these 10 minute things that you need to remember as well, um, that's technically greater than, than 10 minutes, but, but is this talking about one pause in each pause, or is it talking about the total pauses? That's what I don't get, like, it's very confusing. And it's very murky, but that's really about it for me. That's all I'll give out. But basically, all I'm saying is that I don't like this. Really, really don't. Apparently here as well, in, un, under the famous um, readers added context, the challenger contrict, um, basically contradicted itself because the time a player is, is considered replaceable is play, uh, in place 10 minutes, not 15 minutes. So... That's where it's a bit confusing, is actually 10 or 15, because they says 15, however, uh, the rule said 10 minutes. I, I just, I mean, I, I just don't get it. This is really, it's, this it, this whole situation is just dumb. Like, I don't understand why Riot didn't and just follow like, their own bloody rules and just gave them a sub. At least then, they wouldn't have to worry about connectivity and a player, a, 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 a very impactful player of Jazz, keep disconnecting. That's a problem that I have. I'll be honest with this whole scandal, but I will leave a link to all of this as well down in the description below so you can read it for yourself. But now, like you know, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe, it really helps, especially on this channel. I hope I did, I, I hope I explained this as best as I could, I'll be honest, because it is a very messy situation. So I hope I did explain it well. So that's really bad for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.